a more ordered life form, which is against that law. So we actually see human beings breaking down rather than get more, improving more and more. This universe is running down. Well, it's either improving or uh, adjusting themselves to the new. Well, I don't know how climate might change. And it's not necessarily improving. Improving what? We have definitely improved to this level, but it's the how they will adapt. Right. That's the evolution. And we say that we're fine with adaptation. We're huh. saying, though, that a species into another species, like you said before, that doesn't have the fossil evidence, that goes against um, the law of increasing entropy as well. It goes against... The, the whole theory, theory of Darwinian evolution goes against the law of biogenesis, which says that life always comes from life. Darwinian evolution assumes that life came from non-life. No, law of probability. Right. I mean, they, they, uh, you know, they do believe in probability. Sure. You know, on many, you know, many occasions, how the whole thing was created. Yeah. Well, we'd say, though, that so, if it violates... It was a chance. A lot of things were happening. Well, we'd say it's a zero possibility. If you violate a law of science, then your theory can't be scientific. So if you say that life does not come from life, that violates the law of biogenesis. So that would be improbable. It would break the law of probability. So what is the aim of all this? To prove great question. Darwin wrong? Great question. I mean, I it's don't know. Great question. The whole... Somebody who is so much in science, yeah. how can he be against Darwin? Well, we say that science belongs to God. Oh. And that we are not... Intelligent design. Well, we'd say that you are not an accident by chance, which you're created by a designer. This designer is spoken through the Bible, and this designer showed himself through Jesus Christ. Right. So this is all for a purpose. I got it now. Are you a person oh, okay. of, Are you a Christian? No. Okay. Are you a person of faith? Or? I am to some extent, but... Uh, I try to be, I'm also a scientist. Beautiful. So, uh, I'm not an atheist. Yeah. I try to balance, and I've been reading these things for a very long time. Well, have, have you read how God has written down history before it happened? I think in, in Judaism and Quran and uh, Christianity, a lot of similarities. Uh, very, very different with this. Judaism and Islam says that you can achieve salvation by something you do. Christianity says no, that is impossible. We need it was done by Jesus Christ. God reached down to These are some, sign, some uh, I mean, you know, the concept of Trinity, for example, is very difficult to understand by Jews and Muslims. Well, we'd say part of the reason they don't yeah. understand is because yeah. they haven't been born again and the Holy Spirit doesn't live in them. And then what God does when you put your trust in Christ is uh -huh. open up your eyes to the things of God. So it'll make more sense when you explore what Scripture says. Good luck, my friend. Good to talk to you. And I, I hope that you would, as a man of science, you see that the laws of science refute Darwinian evolution and that just like the fine-tuning of the universe shows that we couldn't be on this planet by accident this that is, yeah, that is, uh, if you go to that side right. very obvious not a, right? very obvious very obvious we're not here so, by accident I mean, I, as I said, I'm not a denier of anything right, right. Uh, but I have uh, I have a lot of regard for the da what happened with Darwin, which uh, a lot of people may not realize, that he brought us to a hilltop, and we could try to explain at least how we change. Now, in religion, that doesn't happen. Uh, there is no, I mean, it's impossible to say that we are somehow related to the baboons or something. Uh, so, that, you know, there are major differences, 
But Darwin was the first person in thousands of years who gave a timeline, who tried to give an explanation. A lot of times his theory works. <laughs> that how uh, his point is that it, it, it somehow by chance or whatever these things happen, but they adapt themselves, and then by continually adapting, they, they improve, you could say, or I would say, improve is one thing, maybe something else. I mean, if we, for example, start going to Mars, uh, and then start go further away, thousands of years, and die, and live, and die, and you, your, your hands and legs must be all at the same size because you're not using your legs. Understood. You're adapting. Understood. And In we that agree gravity, with that. Now where are you? We agree with adaptation. And what if, uh, if we find some people like people somewhere else in thousands of... I mean, I was, I'm wondering how religion will explain that. Well, well, Christianity, I can't speak for all religion, yeah, but Christianity yeah. would agree with adaptation, like you said. Yeah. We believe that Darwin was mistaken to take beaks that changed based off of an environment and to then extrapolate that to say that whole life forms change and whole species change. Because like you said yourself, the fossil record doesn't show the sequential well, that change. Is, that right? is the biggest thing that, and that it may be that when did we start finding these fossils? Only when we started to do construction work and uh, we went deeper and deeper and then we began to find out in some areas they were just lying around where their mythology came in with about giants and... Well, we don't have to worry so about we, that. Yeah, you know. We don't have to worry about that. The main focus is that you and I are not an accident. This whole universe is designed just like we have on that poster and I gave you that. Just like our our planet is eight light minutes from the sun. Deliberate chaos, deliberate death, deliberate misery. Deliberate death and no, no, no. That's not God's intention. Yeah, I know. That's what you know. You gotta go take good with bad. You know, both things. You wonder now. You are saying no, no. That is not design. This is design. What we're saying. You are picking. No, no. no. Well, the, the the full explanation is that God has given us the ability as human beings to make decisions correct and, I'm with you. and human beings have chosen evil over good right that's why we see death and disease and destruction yeah but somewhere where it's nothing to do with uh, men making any decisions you know a big flood came in and little kids well the flood was death. actually the flood was a result of human decision uh, man, of evil. Any, anywhere else now I mean the little kids dying right now uh, they're not able to make any decision Who's oh is that? we'd say that small children who yeah. die infants and so forth that die now are go immediately to the presence of oh, god yeah, yeah, but, but they're but, not um, is that the design that they, they will lead a life of misery with poor hungry in the world if you go around the world yeah it opens up your eyes and oh my god is this how I understand yeah. that, sir. I understand that. And, and I've, what, been, I've traveled to many places. I have as well. I've been to third world countries as well. So we, we, we keep thinking about it. Right, but the whole point is that yeah. God has done something yeah. to not just give a temporary fix, but to make all things new. That's why Jesus came. He wanted to start to make everything new because one day there'll be a judgment where everyone who's done evil will be held accountable for it. And those who put their trust in him to be forgiven of the evil right. will be part of his new world where there's no more death, no more disease. And he invites you to be part of that. Okay. But you need thank to trust you. in him. So thank, thank you for talking. We'll meet again. Well, I hope so. And please do me a favor and read read that pamphlet, okay? Yeah.